Hello guys, welcome to the Slightly Lateral Affairs podcast. It has been a fair old while. Four months? Five months? This is a reunion podcast. Yeah, a reunion. Minus Leah, who has deaded somewhere. She died of overdose. That was a bit much. That really she was drinking true. glue and cocaine when she realized that you can't really swallow glue very well. And the cocaine just makes uh, it more pasty. Mm. Oh, I thought it was because she's racist and went to a black neighborhood. It's a 10-year reunion shot. podcast. She had to die. Everyone dies at a reunion party. Yeah. Except so, Jersey yeah, Shore for some weird winning. reason. <laughs> yeah. They all survived. Anyway, uh, let's introduce ourselves. I am Jamie, as always. And with me we have Matt. Say hi, Matt. Fuck you. And we have Dan. Hello. Matt is not in a very good mood. I don't know why, though. So... Matt, why aren't you in a good mood? Because Trials Fusion pissed me off. Why? Because you can't get it? No, I have it. But I was about I... to say, we've both got it. Oh, I'm just playing it. Have you got it yet, Dan? I'm going to buy it later today, but on the Xbox One. Uh, oh, so you won't be... Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I see how it is. Fucking people with their Xbox One think they're fucking better than us. <laughs> Happens because your fucking it. textures will load better than our 360s. Yeah, uh, we've yes. I've been having major issues with the textures loading. Well, Jamie is not me. And my my trigger rumble will be better than yours. Mm. Well, that's debatable. I mean, what if I have super rumble? Don't exist. <laughs> I don't know what you're I... talking about. My controller rumble packs being powered by a fucking rampant rabbit. No, no, oh, the Xbox, the Xbox One's triggers have, like, individual Jamie, motors in them. <laughs> Yo, this girl <laughs> that I know from the UK, she sent me something called a Rampant Rabbit. It is a vibrator, Jamie. Oh, yeah, well, d- dude, I'm well aware of what a uh, Rampant Rabbit is. You have one? All right, then. No, I don't have one, but I know people who have one. Okay. All ten. <laughs> okay that's a good way to start the podcast yep you know us we always uh, start start strongly and it just trails down from there so Jamie you got a new job oh, I did get a new job I now work at CEX which is basically uh, a second hand electronics store now, are you enjoying it? It's... use dildos <laughs> no second hand uh, dildos yeah, um... who goes into one of those places Creepy people, that's who. <laughs> that's a Dan sending me in the mail. <laughs> Not yet. It's on it's on its way. I overnighted it. Uh <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh you'll see. <laughs> <I'm> scared. <laughs> but yeah, um no, I'm absolutely loving it. It's I I mean, as I've probably mentioned before, I spent five years washing plates in a kitchen. So, you know, being out of a kitchen for one is uh brilliant and the fact now that you I wash have... plates and like the regular room or what <laughs> yeah no um but no just being away from the pub is fucking brilliant i'm loving it uh, that's good that you're happy because when you're happy we're happy right matt what that's good enough <laughs> <laughs> it's almost a oh. <laughs> jamie now gets to do something he doesn't even hate Yay! Well, that's technically not true, because I hate dealing with people. Um, and oh. as a sales assistant, that's kind of one of your main jobs. <laughs> so, Learn to code, Jamie, work on a, like a website. Yeah. So, Jamie, you remember when we were talking about controllers? Uh, no. What earlier on Xbox? Uh, no, like yesterday. I don't. Um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, and all right. So, and, and then I sent you the link to scuffed gaming controllers. The, yes. ones, the other ones with paddles. Yeah, I don't remember that. Um, <laughs> an issue was I forgot how to spell scuff, and I wrote scruff by accident. Yeah, scruff is a gay dating site. Lol. Like grinder, basically. Fun. It's yeah. <laughs> It was really awkward because I, I didn't have Incognito open because it was to a gaming site. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely oh, done. Lord. How quickly did you hit Control H and delete? Uh, took me a while to realize what happened. 
took you a while. I'm sorry, but you know, if I open up, if I accidentally open up, but a I didn't game open game, it up. I'm, I just, I'm I just, usually pretty I didn't quick at spotting that. Yeah, but I didn't open it up the page. <laughs> I was still in the Google search, and it said "gay gay meeting site" on the top. I didn't even okay. realize. I was looking down at the site to see if I spoke scuff wrong, and I did. Matt, wrong. you're so lucky Leah isn't here right now. Otherwise, she'd be berating you for being gay. I know, right? Because she's homophobic and, and racist. racist. But it's okay. We accept you, Matt, as you are. I know. Asian. Is that why you wrestle? Because you like to pin men down? Is that right? Definitely. Totally. The spandex does it That's why I didn't get that girl's number from that tournament. It's okay. (laughs) We We accept you for who you are. (laughs) Is that why your uh, character on GTA is a female? Yeah. It's true. Totally. You're projecting. Yeah. Also, yeah, your character too. in Saints Row is a female. Yeah, so is yours. Yeah, but I did it for the achievement. And I, I just finished Saints Row 4 all the way, so, bitch, please. <laughs> it's not my fault mine looks like Barbara Dunkelman. Well, well, no, I she doesn't. Being blonde oh my God, does not yeah, she does. look like Barbara Dunkelman. It well, does look like Barbara Dunkelman. I no, the doesn't. picture sent it to Jamie as a... Yeah. While, we, while we're talking about achievements, I am... Close to hitting the uh, personal target I set myself um, back in September, I think, possibly, mm. which was uh, hit twenty five thousand gaming score by uh, July. Nice. And yeah, I'm currently on twenty three thousand two hundred and fifty something. That's good. So, you're doing good. Like, what were you at when you started? Uh, seventeen. Well, that's good. You did really good. So hold on, because I. Actually, get it because I put it up on a, a Rooster Teeth journal. Um, Ooh. Didn't mention us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was before I was even speaking to you, Dan. <laughs> hmm? Actually, I knew about this. Jamie uh, told a long time ago. Yeah. Before I even knew Dan and Leo. Leo. Um, I've known you all my life, please. Definitely. Uh, that was my uh, 2013 recap. Um. Okay, so five months ago, I hit 20,000 game of score. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was on, well, that was, it left me 50 G away after 100% in uh, Lego Batman 2. Oh yeah, you were trying to do that and then it glitched, didn't it? Or it was uh, just a pain? No, Can't it didn't remember. glitch. I couldn't figure out where the last golden brick was. And you got it? Yeah. Nice. Can't hear me. Um. There we go. Where, where am I going? Um. But yeah. So while I'm while I'm trying to think of this, some talk. Yeah. So I mean, <clears throat> I don't really have a set date, but I want to get to fifty thousand before the end of the year, which is very likely because right now I'm like forty-seven. Yeah. So easily easily achievable. Yeah, because like I also like since 2014, sorry, already a thousand like two games, which were like the Lego Movie video game and Saints Row Four, yeah. and I can actually finish Borderlands One by I don't know like next week once I find like an appropriate partner. Yeah, and yeah, so I can easily get to fifty thousand a life in a partner. Bit. Yes, that's you. No, you're the uh, life partner. I'm trying to find a Borderlands the, partner. When's the partnership? When's the fellowship? You freaking hobbit. Oh, oh yeah. On another note, me, Dan, and boat. Leah are all doing a Borderlands Let's Play with me, because screw him. Wait, who? What? What did I do? You, me, and Leah are doing a Borderlands 2 Let's Play. She doesn't have Borderlands gaming. 2. We're buying her it. We're pitching it in. Uh, I'm already buying you it. I'm not buying her it, too. <laughs> screw Leah. She has to get her own games. I'm buying your GTA, I thought. I can get Borderlands 2 for like five pounds. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, do it, do yeah, it. Fine. We'll, we'll play Slayer with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm basically buying everybody games. Jamie, are there any games you want? Uh, no, you have a job, actually. I'm not buying you any games. Yeah, I don't have a job. These yeah, two don't, I don't have a job. Have I'm buying GTA. Matt Borderlands and I'm buying Leo GTA. Oh, well, I think about it. Um, Dan, me and Matt yep. uh, discussed this uh, the other day. Although, because I don't know if Lee's going to listen to this or not, um, but 
I said about we had a Hapaj HD PVR coming to work. Okay. And of course, uh, I get 15% staff discount. Yeah. So I was thinking that if you were up for it, uh, chipping in and uh, getting her the Hapaj, because Hapaj is one of the few capture cards that work with Mac. She was telling me that she was going to like put some money in with her friends and they were all going to buy a capture card collectively. All right, okay. Yeah, but that so I mean, work with hack. I mean, I'd assume she'd make the right choice, or she'd actually look into it before buying a capture card. I was about to say, or are we expecting too much out of her? I. The stupid thing is, I've got a capture card sitting here that I'm doing nothing with, because I got. Um, I originally had a Roxio game cap, the standard definition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, I updated, upgraded to the HD Pro. Mm-hmm. So I've got the original just sitting here doing nothing. I mean, I'd say no, only because, like, even with the 50% discount, you'd probably be paying more in shipping. Yeah. Not only because it's, like, cross sea, but it's also, like, cross the country. Mm. Yeah, but that's... Well, how much does the Hapage even weigh? That's the question. Yeah, how it much is... It weigh that much. I, I imagine it probably only weighs about, uh, just over a pound. Because, let's, let's think about this. Shipping a shirt from the U.S. to about where you live is about $16. Wait a minute, Jamie, did you just say it's a pound? Yeah. How much is that in grams? Oh, wait, you actually want to work in grams, do you? I mean, you're, you're, you're English? Shouldn't yeah. this be a regular thing? Am yeah. I being discriminatory? Am no, I being Leah? No, 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 no. no. What, uh, Matt's probably aware of this, but I try mm-hmm. to make it as easy as possible for... Everyone else, when it comes to what terminology I use, because we're stupid using. because we're American. Well, it wasn't quite going to go that far, but wait, Jamie, uh, what post town are you in? You can censor this during the editing if you want. I just need this post town and care. postcode. Uh, Kings Lynn. Kings Lynn. Kings Lynn. K I N. Do a really G- loud bleep for that. Mm-hmm. Apostrophe S space L Y N N. Okay, found it. And postcode. Where Jamie lives. My the postcode. Post. Yes. Right, I'm actually going to top that. Skype. Uh, yeah, just give me a second. Uh, doobie doobie doo. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, but yeah. Anyway, while you're doing that, I found the uh, journal, which was ten months ago, and that was after I finally uh, cracked seventeen thousand gamer score. Um, and that was on Trials Evolution. Nice. Trials Sorry. Evolution. Nice. Like Trials Fusion. And that was when I hundred percent in my first game, which was Minecraft. Yeah, they just uh, everyone's finishing yeah. that. I'm missing two achievements in that, which is like the minecart and the wolves. But that's because I never play like casually. Yeah, you're missing the minecart one. God damn it, Jamie has a specific world for this. I was about to say I actually have a world set up, <laughs> which has got um, the minecart track set up already. All right, we definitely should do that probably tonight. Then tonight, uh, yeah, can do. We'll do it after this. Well, I play Charles Fusion. Yeah, you play Charles Fusion, not there. Uh... Yeah. What's a customs right. value? Let's say... Uh, uh, there, there's usually no customs thing. It's usually for us. It's just, like, put it in the box and ship it. Um, yeah, while you're doing that, let me just... Alright, so the length... Do you know how long it would be? Because I have, like, a website right now open that would tell me, like, how much it would cost to ship it from the UK. I was about to so... say, I'm literally going on the Royal Mail's website. Um... I'm on the UPS. Oh, yeah, you guys do way really different than you do. The, the thing is when I, because I sent a box over to uh, um, Detroit. And it was oh, a, it I know, was two, I know who that was due. Yeah, it was I a, don't, a two was kilo it? Was box. Jessica, you agree? No, he relives really in Arizona. Yeah, it was nope. a, a a two kilo box, and that cost me about uh, coming up fifty dollars, I think, to post. That's ridiculous. That's it. Yeah, it's pretty big. No yeah, but that was I had um, guaranteed it because I wanted to like guaranteed um, delivery notice. All right. Um, so I paid extra to basically get a tracking number with it and uh, delivery confirmation. Um, but I've just found here international tracked uh, twelve pound forty five. Right. That's All right. I got you. All right. So so bad yeah it's something to consider I mean I can get I can get them ordered into to my work as well so 
And it's saying I mean, we'll, we'll, and then we'll just... see what she says, because if she's getting it with friends, then I assume she's doing the work and the stuff, right? Or maybe I am just expecting too much out of her. We'll, we'll figure it out when she's <laughs> right, online. She's a ever. 17-year-old girl. What do you think's going to happen? Um, ponies and shoes and handbags. Exactly. No, I've got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> My little pony convention. Don't, don't pull That's a Leah on us. <laughs> Investing in something in California. It's gonna go to Hobo. One of those just hobos <laughs> on Venice Beach. She's gonna buy a hobo? Yes. <laughs> you can do that? Yeah, in California. Welcome to the US. Have so many. I know I was joking earlier about buying a child, but um... Did you say buy a child? When did you say that? No, <laughs> it was um Jamie. something happened at work basically. A customer came in, uh, wanted to trade his uh phone in, I think it was. Mm-hmm. And when he initially brought the phone in he had a, a kid. I'm like, um, you know, you get those push along trikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had a kid on one of them, and he came back about an hour and a half later, and he was just pushing the trike, and there was no child. And I said <coughs> to the customer I'll service, and I was like, "Did he sell his child <laughs> as well as his phone?" And it's like, the fuck? <laughs> 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 oh no, this is That's not good. Great. So, um, um, Blue Jackets are two one up against the Penguins in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Oh yeah. my god! All right, hockey. For those listening at home, me and Jamie are hockey fans. Dan doesn't watch sports. I don't watch sports. I watch boxing. But then, all right, he watches a sport. A sport, yes. Single. I'm just trying to remember because uh, you said you don't. Was there a team that, if you had to follow any, you did? What me? Yeah. Who? Oh, yeah. I don't know because I don't think because I think we spoke about it before and I said about the Devils and you said you was more of a Rangers guy I think if I remember correctly. Are you talking to me or are you talking to Matt? No, I'm talking to you. Oh, what? No, no. <laughs> I don't know. This is this is all wrong. Leave me alone. I want to sleep. <laughs> what time is it for you? It's like uh, twenty it's past one in the morning. Oh, Damn. Don't you have work tomorrow, Mister? Oh. I don't want to talk to anyone because I work. No, I've got a day off. Hey, Jamie, here's a question. Why don't you ever log off of Skype? I thought I did. No, nope, it's always on. You're always That's online. Same with Leo. You are a liar. That's probably... The thing is, when I close Skype on my iPad, um, it like when I start it back up, it says it's signing in. So I just assumed that... Fuck. When I Sorry. The app, just to cut in. I have the Pittsburgh Penguins beating the Blue Jackets within five games. Yeah, <laughs> could still work then. Oh, what, anyway, you, you were saying. Bracket. You were saying, Jamie? The Sharks have one for a prize. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming that Skype on my iPad never shuts me out, even though I actually physically close the app. Yeah, but you have to actually physically log out for to do that. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> Same thing with Leah. She does that, and this girl I know, she does that, and it pisses me off. She's not, she's not, Leah's not going to notice. She's not going to listen to the podcast. She's probably not even going to notice that we're yeah. recording right now. Um, no, I. Apart from anything else, if I leave my Skype open, um, I, I've had people that, like, at stupid times in the morning, uh, will want to talk to me or just want to vent on my uh, Skype feed. So, apart from anything else, having it constantly on. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. All right, I see what you mean. Yeah. So. Anyway, um, actually, it I have a question for you. Kind of the impression mean. that I'm always there for him, even when I'm sleeping. But you know, you're it's a like dick. he never left us. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, wait, uh, Jamie, I have a question. How has your new job affected like your photography? Um, oh, yeah, is- it's. I mean, obviously, I, I mean, I haven't got paid yet. Uh, mm-hmm. My first payday is not until Tuesday, I think, because Monday's a bank holiday because of Easter. Right. Um, I have such a relevant image for Easter, by the way. Go on. Um. But yeah, it's. I mean, I imagine that when I start getting paid and everything, it'll probably be a little bit easier. But I would be uh, restricted a lot more to because I specialize mainly in live music photography. Mm. Uh, so I would be restricted as to where I could go, especially if I was working on the day of the show. Um, All right. Because I uh, I shot one the other week in Norwich, which is about an hour's drive away, 
and mm-hmm. I finished work at six and I literally I finished work drove straight to the gig um, but like for I'm going to a show tomorrow but because it's in London which is about a two hour drive and then about an hour on the train yeah. um, to navigate around London uh, I just booked the day off because I, I couldn't risk finishing work at six and then basically missing the whole show so you're putting more priority in your photography than in like your current job um, no, not necessarily. It's, I mean, like, if the the way our job, the way our place works is they won't expect you to work uh, more than five days a week. Mm-hmm. So all, I, as opposed to actually booking time off, I literally just said to them, like, if you could, like, if there's a way that the two days off I'm supposed to have can work around these two dates, then that'd be awesome. <laughs> Mm, all right. Also, I found the picture I was talking about. All right, so I'm posting yeah. it there in the chat. Um, I feel okay. it's incredibly relevant to this upcoming Easter. <laughs> it's the album cover for a single for a song. It's, it's, it's called right. Bird Machine. <laughs> okay. It's a really, really good song. It's like dubstep, but they use like birds singing. It's really good. If you like that stuff, up. Um, yeah, for anybody listening, you can okay. just go ahead and Google Bird Machine cover art and you'd be able to find it. It's pretty much one of the first ones. It's literally well, just a bunny. While that's like we're high. on this line of music, baby metal. Oh, oh my god, no. No. All right. Me and Jimmy have had this kind of thing where we think once. So just kind of shitty. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. I mean. I just, I'd, I'd rather not. It's actually really like, good. I, I've heard it, I just couldn't get into it. Um, what do you mean it's really I like good, one though? One song's actually really good. Megit Sune. I think I'll link it for you guys. I've, I've only ever heard the, the chocolate one. Yeah, that one sucked. I hate it. I was about one. to say, that is terrible. probably their worst one out of them. <laughs> it's just so repetitive and so annoying. <laughs> Yo, copyright. Don't do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> The words will change. We're going to get taken off the air, yo. The words will change. It's all good. <laughs> so, I want to talk about something. It's, I mean, it's not really important. I'm just trying to get the ball rolling in conversation. Okay. I recently right bought um, Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. Right. Oh, I recently, like, when it came out. It's, uh, it's actually a really entertaining game. Only, it's really, really bad. Because, like, I'm always in the market for, like, bad games. Or, like, those obscure games that always come out that nobody buys. Yeah. Because, like, since I work at GameStop, I usually see, like, how many we get in at a time. So we got, like, two copies of Yaiba. I'm like, all right, this game's going to suck. And it really does. But it's fun. <laughs> and it really it's... does. Because, like, just think of this. One of the bosses is a giant two-headed baby. And when you kill it, you can take its shoulder, its shoulder blade, for a weapon called the shoulder blade. And it's a giant axe. That's weird. So uh, it does sound a bit weird. <laughs> it's just, and then it just it just gets like easier and easier as you go through too. It's really just like button sp- button mashing. It's not too hard a game. I just want to talk about it a little bit because like I feel it didn't get much recognition, like either in positive or negative light. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah, let's also, Jamie. Talk hey. About... Oh, or what? Jamie's life. <laughs> Jamie, Somewhere. tell us more about what it's like over there across the sea. Do you have cars? <laughs> Do you guys have um, weather? Are they, are the, the cars you speak You know what they don't have? Those, Automatic cars. Are, are they those strange things that go really fast make lots of noise? Yes. Yeah, those it, the it's those things that don't then, yes. have sticks where you're from. <laughs> but, dude, I don't know. I'm, who tries dude, stick? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm still completely flummoxed by that bright thing in the sky. Oh, you mean the blood moon? <laughs> Yeah, they couldn't see it from over there. Like, the U.S. was, like, the best place. Yeah. Or the I, East Coast, I tried looking out my window for it. And covered just, in no. the clouds. Yeah, like, I went outside at, like, 3 a.m. I walk yeah. out. I try to look for it. I hear, like, a branch snap. And I'm like, that's enough outside for 3 a.m. Walk back right, inside. Dad. <laughs> dad, you being on the East Coast with me in the Northeast, you definitely know about this. Why the fuck was it snowing last Right? Oh my god, that was so ridiculous. Yesterday was like, it was raining, and it was like warm, but yeah, that's then it like at suddenly night, it at night, it, it was so weird. 
Well, we didn't even get any snow this year, which I am fucking gutted about. And what is... You guys stole all our snow. Bastards. We also st- st- stole from last year. We just stole everything. I didn't even actually people. get to see the snow. I was on a Skype call with some friends, and one of them was like, it started snowing. I'm like, what? Nah. And then, like, everybody today is talking about the snow. So. Snow, snow, snow everywhere. It was just so weird. It was not fun. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Ah, shit. Hey, Jamie, we get it. You don't like us. Do you think we're boring? Do you have to yawn? Oh, rub it in our shit. face. Fuck off. <laughs> Tired. Exactly. So, He's just rubbing it in her face. That so he doesn't... I had a burger today. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> <an> American burger <laughs> that contained Best both podcast. bacon and cheese. Oh Was my god! Actually, Wendy's? in the burger. Ah! Oh my god! Hey, there's this place in America, well, on the East Coast, called Five Guys. You get to Love make it. your own burger. It's not even on the East Coast. It's like everywhere. It is, but yeah, it used to be like where did it used to only be? Interesting. Tell me more. I have no idea. <laughs> Jamie loves five guys in his mouth. <laughs> I think the weirdest um, thing I've ever eaten would probably be like blood sausage. No, you I've know what? Um, blood sausage. You never had that mean black pudding. What? What? Like, okay, what's what's blood sausage? Blood sausage. Let me find out because I'm not entirely sure how it is. It's like hardened. It's like coagul. No, not coagulate. Uh. I'll- what were you saying? Cooked I'll blood. tell you in a second. Cooked pig's blood. What? Cooked pig's, pig's blood. Yeah, essentially that. Yeah, it's called black pudding over here. Ew. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I googled it's it. The first result is blood vibe. sausage. The second is black pudding. And black it says black pudding is the native native British version of blood sausage. Oh, it has oatmeal it's over there. Fucking vile. It has oatmeal you know over there. What's rude? What? what? You're like cutting off. Vanilla pudding is the best shit ever made. Vanilla pudding? Nah. Yeah. Sorry, you said about vanilla pudding is just reminding me about the, uh, I think it was the Creeper Soccer Let's Build. Why? When they, um, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and Gavin are talking about something and they were going on about, there was just, ga- like, I think it was vomit they were on about. She was like, oh, oh I know what you're talking about. I remember what you're talking And it just looked about. like vanilla pudding and then it cuts to JJ eating vanilla pudding and just going, oh, God. I remember that now. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I can't wait for the uh, Trials of Fusion Let's Play from Rooster Teeth. Yeah, can... yeah. No, they've been putting out guides. No, they they released a Let's Play like at 2 p.m. EST. Did they? Oh yeah. my god, I'm looking for this right now. Yeah, it's about com. My subscription. It's out. Yeah, it's been out for four oh, hours. Oh, it did just came out. Like four hours ago. 23 well, minutes. Four uh, hours ago. I'm watching that as soon as this ends. Yeah, probably me soon. I was, I'm going to watch like a bunch of videos after this. A- yeah. Anyway, I'm news. probably going to go to bed because I've got a big, a long day tomorrow. Oh, I thought he was going to help you with your achievements. Oh, yeah, that as well. Oh, I hey, really want to watch the Family news. Feud one as well. I have good news and bad news. Okay. The good news is I started playing GTA Online by myself, so I'm starting to get bad levels up. Yeah. I'm like level 13 now, or 14. Okay, bad news. Oh, the bad news is I'm probably not going to be able to go to RTX this year anymore. It's okay. If it makes you feel any better, neither can I. No one is. <laughs> yeah, but I was really going to it. It's a huge I trip. Have... When I made the whole plan of going to RTX, I was pulling in about £350 a week. Um, and then my hours dramatically dropped. Um, so my plans of going to RTX very quickly diminished. Yeah, no, it was just mostly, like, because of the fact that I'm moving right after I graduate, which is, like, June yeah. 17th, so, um... Yeah, because you're moving out of the country, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, so my parents, like, my parents normally wouldn't really mind, because they'd be paying yeah. for the trip, but because of the fact that it's, like, so close to the fact that we're moving then, I can't, because they're just, like, too worked up about the move itself. Yeah. So instead, I'm trying to get funds to build a gaming PC. Or, 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 you invest in New York. Or oh, shut the fuck up. I guess you don't want to make it fast. Yeah, absolutely. Make it fast. Exactly. Make it fast. No idea what that is yet, but we're going. Make it fast in New York. 
I mean, yeah, you mentioned it. I just don't know what it's like, what it is. It's literally just eating bacon. It's literally a fair of bacon products. Bacon lube. What? Different kinds of bacon. I feel like I found my new pilgrimage. <laughs> it's Jamie, you're coming with us. Or a country. It's bacon. I like Jamie, everything. Jamie, 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 you're coming with us. Anyone who knows my Facebook feed knows I usually post in the morning about bacon. <laughs> Bacon's not even that great. Fuck off. All right, Jamie, bacon is amazing. Bacon it, I mean, it's good, but it's not amazing. No, 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 no. Bacon is amazing. Mm. For example, on my desk at the moment, I have a tub of bacon jam. Why? Uh, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. <laughs> okay, right. It's actually, it's a relish. It's a, it's a burger relish, basically. But a burger relish with bacon. Okay, that sounds good. I'll give you that. Yeah, when you when you phrase it like bacon jam, it, it does sound absolutely vile. But when you bacon actually look at it, when you actually look at it as a, a relish, yeah, it's not too bad. God, we don't have anything to talk about, do we? No, <laughs> Leia's not here. We need a female. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sure she has she a perfectly good like reason. Like every two minutes. And they would all yeah, be the worst. She, wasn't she supposed to oh, so they would join our group? What? Say it again. Was it Leah Leah supposed to like ask someone else to join our group? Yeah, but uh, well uh, she another was, female. But then we removed her. No, not no. Alka. Someone else. Like recently. Yeah. Um oh, I don't know. I think I think she was uh, I think she's going to ask, yeah. I don't know if she has yet though. So uh, that's what I asked, she hasn't. So, Leah, if you're listening, get on top of that. Batch Cabello. God damn it. <laughs> that would be okay with that, too. Because of so <laughs> Season 12 starts this month, though, since we're on that topic. Yes. April 28th, is that right? Yes. Wait, what? The new uh, Season 12 of Red vs. Blue. Oh, fuck Red vs. Blue. I'm not a fan of that. Why not? I just don't like it. What? Why? Do, what don't you like about it? He tried. Make how many laugh. seasons in? Did, how many episodes in did you get? Sixteen. Did you start with yeah, season 16. one? Yes. <laughs> There's a problem. I got to admit, I started it when I started watching. Jimmy, it. you and me have gone over this so many times, bro. My friend started me off at about season three, um, and it was only then I went back and watched season one. Yeah, no, I started um, like I started season six. Yeah. So, I didn't really, like, get a chance to watch, like, the first few seasons. Because what happened was I discovered it because my brother was watching stuff on YouTube, like, every so often. Yeah. Because he would have, like, a bunch of free time at his school. Yeah. So, I would watch stuff when he was watching at home, and I would watch, like, one or two episodes of RVB, like, a week, but I never understood what was going on. And then with season six, started, I just started watching it consistently. Yeah. And, yeah, I guess that's how I just kind of discovered Achievement Hunter from there. I started using, like, the Crackdown map. Yeah. And it basically just expanded from there. Yeah. yeah but I would say, Matt, if you're going to try and get into it again, don't try and start from Season 1 again. Season 1's slow. I don't like Season 1. I tried rewatching mm-hmm. it. I just couldn't get into it. Exactly. It it's one of those that you need to watch. Like if you start from another season, and then just literally you watch it just to just to catch it. F- yeah, just to fill up a couple of plot holes and shit like that. Otherwise, you can just look it up because there's like a whole wiki now dedicated to it. Oh yeah, it's like an RVV wiki. There's yeah. also a Rooster Teeth wiki that's start... just absolute shit. Yeah. But you probably want to start, I think, two or three episodes before they move over to Halo Two. Uh uh, yeah, 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 I see what you mean. The only issue yeah, that, is I have a lot of anime on my plate. And shit like that. Yeah, they're actually getting a new animator for season 12, so I hope he's like either on par with Monty or better. Well, by the looks of it, I mean, Let's uh, talk about that. Haloid was amazing. Dude, I fucking love Haloid. I watched that so many times when it came out. Yeah. That shotgun sequence is just... Let's be honest. Oh shit, you just made me realize. Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to talk about a movie sequence, but then I realized nobody's going to have seen it, so. What movie? No, don't, don't worry about it. Oh, speaking of movies, I recently saw Captain if you America. Say Frozen, Winter Soldier. You. Okay. Captain America Winter Soldier, Dan. Okay, okay. has everyone seen it now? Yes. 
Pulp Fiction reference. Wasn't it fucking amazing? Yes. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't like it as much as I liked um, Thor The Dark World. I haven't seen Dark World seen yet. yet. I heard it was much better than the first. It was. And I just, I preferred... I prefer the Dark World over Winter Soldier. Like, a lot of people are raving. It's like, oh, Winter Soldier is like the best Marvel movie to date. I just couldn't get into it that. I, me, I didn't think it was the I wouldn't best. say I it's it was the best really one. Good. I mean, I'm still a massive fan of the Iron Man series and um, the Avengers. Mm-hmm. But it it was. I preferred it a lot more over the original Captain America. Yeah. Wait, um, which. Wait, which. The first the event. Avengers. First Avenger. Because uh, there was one before that, which is terrible. Yeah. Um, I'm on about the current uh, batch of Marvel films, though. Not yeah. shit that was made in the early 90s, like late 80s. Honestly, I'm just super excited for like what what else is coming out this year. Like, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, I'm, I'm like, cautious that's, about it. That's out now. Uh, uh, that's not? Wait. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's out for today. No, because like, all Marvel movies in um, uh, like international countries US. come out a week early. All right. So, uh, like, you're getting Spider-Man. Oh, uh, Spider-Man getting, like, Guardians of the Galaxy out May 2nd. Else, really. Yeah, here it comes out May 2nd. Same with, like, X-Men, you're going to be getting in a week early. Also with Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. That's a film I'm excited to see. Yeah, I'm super excited for Guardians of the Galaxy. Just every time I see a preview, so it just looks bad. better. Yeah. But, uh, there's... The, the current uh, wave of films is starting to look quite good. You know what pisses me off? It's like nobody yeah, seems... To- no, not Transformers. I mean, to a degree, but we'll talk about that. I'm pissed off at the fact that every time I talk to a friend about, like, X-Men or, like, um, the Avengers, I'm like, oh, yeah, so they're bringing in Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch for both of them. And they're like, what? No, they're not. And it's like, yes, they are. I've had this discussion with everybody, but nobody seems to understand that they can bring in two characters, even if they're not using the same continuity. So, like, I understand it's, like, a dumb choice, but I'm just annoyed at the fact yeah, that I can... I'm holding up this argument I'm for 20... I'm trying to figure out, because... Uh, it, it's Fox that have the X Men. Yeah, is under in it. They're sharing the character rights. That's the thing. Oh right, they're sharing the rights, are they? Yeah, but I'm just annoyed because like say, cause nobody... I was trying to figure out. I knew Fox owned everything or owned the cinematic rights to everything mutant related. And of course, I mean, if no one's seen Captain America yet, it's been out for a while. So fuck you for not watching it yet. Hey, it's the spoiler first, so people. Can wait, skip wait, wait. This are part. we talking about Winter Soldier or First Avenger? Winter, Winter Soldier. All right, wait. Give it four seconds of mute. Spoiler alert! Spoiler. All right, what were we yeah. gonna say? Right at the end of the credits. <laughs> yeah, with Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to figure it out because it's like I know, obviously it was obviously it was the Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver, mm-hmm. but I was just under the impression that um, Marvel Studios weren't allowed to make any references to the mutants. Because they're not going to refer to them as mutants. Prop- they're not going to call them Magneto's children either. But they're also not, well, because of this, they're not going to be able to do House of M anymore. Because House of M is basically like no more mutants. Yeah. Because it's Scarlet but, Witch like reimagining the world. Yeah. So I'm assuming that they're just it's a lot of their backstory is just going to be assumed by the viewers. Or they're going to make their own because like it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They've made so many like different plot points. Like what happened yeah. in Winter Soldier with Shield, that would never happen in the comics. But because I, I was talking to my friend about it, and like, because we were going on about, um, like, when uh, Nick Fury got shot, he said, "Oh, but isn't he a super? Like, isn't he a, a super soldier?" No, he's not. I said to him, "I said, well, well, in the Ultimate Universe, after they injected uh, uh, Steve Rogers with the superhero serum, mm-hmm. um, they they tried to replicate it." They tried to replicate the serum, and they injected it into another person, and that person ended up being Nick Fury. What is that right? In the Ultimate Universe, yeah. Right, but this is the cinematic universe. It's its own universe yeah, by but itself. Yeah, this is what I mean. It's like um, there's they take the cinematic universe takes elements of each um, each universe. It's like the fact that Nick Fury is black. So the ultimate universe was yeah yeah is based on the ultimate universe, which coincidentally the ultimate universe Nick Fury was based on Samuel L. Jackson. Wasn't so like the fact that Sa- Sa- the fact that Samuel L. Jackson plays Nick Fury 
be why. It all goes full circle. Isn't this Thor also based on like the Ultimate Thor instead of the regular Thor? Also, like Hawkeye. Hawkeye's not based on the regular Hawkeye. He's based on Ultimate Hawkeye. I know that much. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the characters are based. It's more based among the Ultimate. Yeah. Oh, you know what's something uh, interesting that I read about like Winter Soldier? What? One more spoiler. So, um, during the sequence when they're like targeting all the people with the. What's it called? With the what's the program? The huge satellite thing. Uh, Insight. That? Insight. That thing. It, Operation. The Insight. Stark Tower was renamed Avengers Tower. Was it actually renamed Avengers Tower? Was yeah. It? Yeah. I I saw it get stuck. Um, go Stark Tower, but obviously it moved quickly, too quickly. Yeah, because it just said like Tony Stark, and then it like zoomed out immediately. So it was like a one second, like half a second thing, but it said Avengers yeah. Tower instead of Stark Tower. So that was interesting to see. I also want to see yeah. what they're going to do, because right now in, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I don't know, are they airing that in the UK? Um, yeah, but I mean, I've, I am so, so, so behind with it, I need to... But are they, like, airing it at the same scratch. time, I mean, because right now they're airing it. I think so. Um, I could be wrong. So, they're airing it right now, like, right now they're dealing with, like, the consequences of what happened in the, in Avengers. Witch Soldier. Oh, right, okay. So... Yeah, so I don't know if they're airing it there at the same time, like if they're at the same episodes or anything. I don't know. I have a question. But there's just like so many plot holes of like what's happening. Like, where was Hawkeye during Winter Soldier? And like, how are they going to explain his absence and his reaction to what happened to Shield? Yeah. Because for all, I, for like, they could like just bring in the they could just start the Avengers two with like Tony Stark walking into like a campsite, and it could just be like Jeremy Renner sitting at a bonfire with, like, a deer with arrows stuck in it. And it's like, oh, after S.H.I.E.L.D. disbanded, he just, like, became when a hunter. Will. Yeah. But it's just, like, there's nothing. So, mm-hmm. I don't like that I they're not really giving much information about that. They also named Doctor uh, Doctor Strange. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, my mate pointed that out to me. I can't remember which point it was, but Stephen Strange was mentioned. Yeah, when they were talking about people that they were taking off the, the grid with Insight. Yeah. He was like Bruce Banner, Stephen Strange. Yeah, Tony Stark, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah, back to the main point. It's just like, um, they're sharing the rights for Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, but they can't name them uh, mutants, and they can't call them Magneto's children. Yeah, I'm interested to see what happens. It's, it's just interesting. Um, well, it'll be interesting to see how they explain the powers and that sort of stuff. They also need to explain, like, how they're bringing in Ultron, because they already said that Hank Pym isn't going to be involved. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because Hank Pym's supposed not to be supposed coming to be until Phase 3. Is Ant-Man supposed to be coming out after Avengers 2? Yeah, wow. Ant-Man is the first film of Phase 3, so that's coming out in 2016, I believe. Yeah, yeah that would be interesting on how they come up with Ultron. Alright, for a last question, I have a question for you guys. Yeah, the last okay. One. Why the last one? We still have, like, 15 minutes. I don't know. But um, because I I don't know how long this question's gonna last. But okay, what would you like to see as a movie from Marvel or DC? Deadpool. Ooh. Um, if it's done well, maybe not with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I from, think he did really well as Wade Wilson. Um, is Wade Wilson? Yes, but not as Deadpool. Well, that's because they took out his mouth. I don't, that's I don't, terrible. That's because they just destroyed think, the character. I think Ryan Reynolds got. He's got the comic delivery for it, I think, but I don't... He got a lot of flack for the role, but it wasn't really his fault, to be no, honest. It, it was, was mostly, like, the writers for what they did to the character. The Deadpool was just terrible. Yeah. Because, um, like, apparently, this is what I read when the movie came out, um, across, like, different theaters across, like, the world, they gave a different post credit scene. Is that right? Uh, possibly. So, like, there was one that, like... This is the one that I got when I went to watch the movie. It was, um... They find, like, there's, like, Logan is in Japan, and he's, like, talking to a bartender. But then there's, like, a different ending. That's on YouTube, where it's, like, in the rubble, Deadpool's hand, like, moves over, because he's still alive, apparently. Yeah, because they... And, like, finds the head. They decapitate him, didn't they? And he opens his eyes. Mm Mm-hmm. So, like, this is, like, a post credit scene where it's, like, his hand finds his head, and the mouth is now unstitched, so he does, like, the hush motion where he has, like, his finger over his mouth. But considering that's not canon, like nothing works anymore. No. 
Because yeah. like they're probably not going to use Ryan Reynolds for like Green Lantern either. They're probably going to redo that. They're just going like, to cut it out of the canon. And they're probably going to do the same with um, X Men Origins and use a different actor for Deadpool. Yeah. Um, What's this? Well, a challenger appears. New challenger appears. Ew. It's a racist. If she decides to join. Yeah. Um, but no. If another, there's ever a film DC. I'd like to see done is I would like to see a proper Green Lantern film done uh, based on Blackest Night. Yeah, absolutely. I, the whole Spectrum War thing. I'd like to see, just for, like, tie-in's sake, um, Batman vs. Predator. I know it's kind of like a short um, comic continuity because it's, like, two or three chapters, yeah. I believe. But, like, I love Predator and, like, the Predator species, and, I like, I like Batman. And just knowing that they'd make another Predator movie would be really interesting. Yeah. So... That's how I feel. They could also like tie it in with like Superman and Alien. Yeah. Make it like a double feature movie or something. Yeah. If they wanted to. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, Ben Affleck. So um, let me just say one of my movies. Um, if they ever do a DC Marvel crossover, I'd want to see them do crossover. Yeah, J- uh, JLA versus the Avengers. Eh. That could. That was a comic, right? I was pretty sure that's a comic. I don't... That. I don't, know, been, um, I don't know. The main one that I can think of is there was one that was Wolverine crossed with Batman. Oh no, that's like a whole. That's like um, a different company. That's like some of the writers from both, yeah. like combined into a writing team, and they made like individual characters with traits from each company. Yeah. So there was like a character that was Batman with Wolverine's powers, basically. Yeah. But it was an original character. And no, there was definitely um, a Justice League and Avengers crossover. That'd be interesting because so I the thing a comic got, page because of... I think I've seen uh, videos of it. And it's like, um... I mean, I've definitely seen a comic page with like Batman fighting Captain America. Yeah. It's like who would win out, Superman and the Hulk? Absolutely. Because uh, no, but the um... thing is, the Hulk. The more you hurt him, the stronger he gets. Therefore, make him debatable. technically invincible. Debatable. Debatable. Because that's just like, that's plot armor essentially. You know what movie I'd love to see? What? Squirrel Girl. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you kidding me? The writers would have a fucking field day. I feel like it would be funnier than a Deadpool movie. The thing is with this Deadpool movie, you can like there's break the fourth. Like especially the stuff in the like is in a monologue. I just feel that's something you could have a lot of fun with. And it would be some. He could have. They could have so much fun with it though, because like they could reference the fact that he appeared in X Men Origins, and they could just ruin the movie. This is it. It's like, and like, have you ever played Deadpool the game? Uh, I'm gonna do that at some point. Right. Yeah, I heard it's really good. It's a fantastic game. Um, but there is a hell of a lot of breaking the fourth wall. No, because that's Deadpool's full character. Isn't that kind of Deadpool's hey! Oh my god, she speaks. Ew, the racist. Welcome, Leah, everyone. I was talking for the past two minutes, and I was trying to figure out why no one was responding to me. I didn't have my mic on. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Are you going to hate on Deadpool because he's a mutant and not a human? What? No, I love Deadpool. Are you kidding me? There needs to be a movie on him. Ah, but who to play Deadpool? Let's get your input on this. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I, here's the thing: I don't know actors well enough to know. All right, do you know who played him in X Men Origins? God, I don't remember. And it's Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, I'm guessing. Good That's job. <laughs> You're getting <laughs> awesome. Anyway, no, but I don't feel like they'd hire Ryan Reynolds again only because he did um, Green Lantern afterward. So I feel like they'd hire someone else. Yeah, but you say that it's like Chris Evans was. Human Torch, and then Marvel Studios okay, hired him right. to be Captain America. You're right, you're right. I mean, you're right to a degree, only because, like, th- those are still both Marvel. This is, like, DC and then Marvel. Yeah. Do you know what you I mean? You want to know what crossover should happen, and specifically in the Marvel world, the Fantastic Four, along with Captain America? Won't happen. Cause... It's not going to happen. No, well, actually, no, it won't happen. It needs the to Fantastic happen with the Four new movies. is um, owned by someone else. It's Sony. No, it's Fox, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Fantastic Four is Fox. But, I mean, it's... I mean, did you hear what's going to happen? They just said today that um, there's going to be X-Men, like, Days of Future Past stuff in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yes. They... Well, it's so confusing now. 
Yeah, I don't know. It absolutely is super confusing, but I have no idea how they're going to pull this off. I did. So, uh, I saw the uh, video. Title? Up on uh, yeah. uh, the Nose YouTube uh, page, but I haven't actually. I saw it on The Escapist. So, yeah. I'm not sure how they're going to pull that off, but it could definitely happen, cause especially because they're rebooting the Fantastic Four next year. Yeah. Really? I, yeah. I really want Chris Evans to stay as Johnny Blaze. No, so they've they already recast him as a black guy, haven't they? Yes, it's true. It's true. What's he, Why? What's he been in? Oh, uh, I Ray wanted him to be Johnny Blaze so, so that way, racist. if there was a crossover with Captain America, he would meet himself. There's actually it an achievement on a be Lego. What they didn't want. There's an achievement on Lego Marvel. Yeah, uh, have we met play before? As, yeah, they uh, as Captain America and Fantastic Four at the same time. Torch. Human Torch. Human Torch. That's amazing. It's one of the first oh. achievements I got. I completed that game 100%. Oh, it was a fun game. On it. It's just the first mission. I don't think That's I've awesome. played any of the Lego games more than like like 5-10 minutes at a friend's place. No, I've, Lego games are fun. I've completed Lego Batman 2 100%. Um, completed all the missions for Lego Batman 1. I just need to go through and uh, finalize achievements. I'm playing Lego Indiana Jones 1. That's a fun one. And I need to kill the Star Wars ones back together to try and 100% them. Yeah, I was missing two achievements in LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga, which was like, oh no, sorry, three achievements. Like 100%, like do all the challenges and get all the like red bricks, or, like the chat bricks. Yeah. So I was going to go back to that at some point, but I guess I deleted the save. So now I'd have to start from scratch. Oh, so I just don't feel like... Shit, son. Yeah, because I have... I have three hard drives. I have a 20 gig that came with the Xbox yeah. that I filled up super quickly with like Black Ops DLC and Borderlands DLC. Yeah. So then when Borderlands 2 came out, I bought a 60 gig, but I never transferred the data, so I just used that one for stuff. Now that one's filling up, and my brother, he bought a Slim, so he gave me his old hard drive, which was 250 gig. Yeah. And I just use it at all. Yeah, I went out and bought uh, a new 120 gig today. So... I'm still on my 20. If I, like... I probably is, gonna. I'm gonna my hard drives full of oh. Battlefield Three maps. Mm-hmm. I don't even own an Xbox. Ooh, oh, yeah, it's just borrow her sister's. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how don't it works. Don't you have a job? Think about it. Uh, it was an internship, and the internship ended. So you, oh you have, well. Oh, no. Why don't you get a job? Uh, I, I'm going because to. It's that I'm, easy, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be applying at Joanne's at some point. Dan, why do you think we have you buy our games for us? Because I'm a good. <laughs> I don't. Friend. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> buy my own games, thanks. Jimmy, I'm excluding you, Mister. I have games. jobs. Oh, Leah, we were talking <laughs> about the capture card earlier. Uh huh. Do you know what you're getting and if it'll work with a Mac? Um, I was looking at the Elgato. The Elgato. Oh yeah, no, that could work because that's what that's what she under uses. What's the Elgato HD gaming? Yeah. Well, wow, Matt, you will literally be the only one without a HD capture card. How do you feel? I know, right? I feel like Matt, I should be. Do you want me to buy you a capture card? No, I would feel so bad if you pay one hundred and twenty dollars. But I do it for a good cause. Can't you get them in a GameStop that- cheap? I feel like Matt's making uh, fun GameStop of GameStop actually doesn't sell that many like capture cards. No, it's like I'm being two serious. Brands, like, third party brands. Two seconds. Okay, you're being serious. You're you see my view on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You just feel really bad if someone spends a lot of money on you. I feel bad enough when you're buying me a game. Yeah. Right. Well, so everyone feels bad, but you know, Leah was all like, "Yeah, I'll have a t-shirt off you." No. Oh, uh, it's okay, <laughs> Le- Leah. Because the I t-shirt bought you was t-shirt. like ten bucks. It's different from well, ten Jamie, bucks from like one twenty. Shoot, Jamie, say say HD. HD. Yeah, you're saying H. <laughs> you're saying H. Right. I love the way that Jamie says H. things. Leah, well, yeah. right. say I H. Bought Jamie, Bitch, don't be talking about shit. I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Great, everyone's okay, talking about what? Uh, Sixty-five pounds. Oh, what the fuck How much you? is that? Um, Sixty-five pounds. What? <laughs> I, I, um, I have no idea what Matt just said. 65 pounds. So, Leah, did you ask her yet? Oh. We haven't mentioned no, I names. I answer Matt's question, we by the way. Names, I, so. No, no, my name. names. No, I haven't asked her yet, because I, I kind of keep forgetting. God, write it down. <sighs> we have anyway, two so I never got to answer Matt's question. 
Actually, Wait, no, now that you've before. told me and I'm actually at my computer right now, I could probably talk to her oh. right now. Leah, why don't yeah, you answer right. this question? Okay. So it's basically, uh, what movie would you want to see made out of like a Marvel or DC property? Oh yeah, that is good. I, uh, Jamie said Deadpool. I said um, I also said a good Blackest Night uh, Green Lantern film. Yeah, I want a crossover. Or so. that would probably end up being several films because you couldn't get the entire Blackest Night saga into one film. Hold on one sec. I, like, I know the answer to this. I have the comic of it. Hold on one sec. Dude, okay. dude, she's gone. Jamie, she's gone. Oh, she's gone, Jamie. Don't forget. How's your shirt? How's <laughs> my shirt? It's hanging up in my wardrobe. Wait, your shirt? I got Jamie a shirt at Comic Con. We talked about this in the really old uh, Is it? podcast. I see. All right. Shadow Hawk. That's what it is. I have Shadow, Shadow Hawk number. Shadow Hawk. Yeah. What the hell is Shadow Hawk? Um, I don't know. I yeah, we're all we're all googling this, right? Or Wikipedia? Yeah, you're not have, the only one. I have Shadowhawk number two. With Shadowhawk me. like a um, uh, transformer, or it it doesn't. No, not... that's Image Comics under Shadowline. Oh, that is not so Marvel so that, or DC. Oh yeah. So, so so that's basically the same company that made Spawn, right? Yeah. Because yeah. like I have Shadowhawk two. Where is my phone so I can take a picture of it and I'll tweet it? So you guys can see it, but right, we yeah, you like, could also tweet that person. Shadowhawk looks a lot like freaking Wolverine. All right, well, it's a rip off. That's clear. <laughs> like if you can see if you can see our image right now, who which will be in a I, link. I can, I, it literally looks like Wolverine. I yeah, I'm looking at Shadowhawk right now. Yeah, I would actually love for them. I have, like, I have the comic in well, my hand. I would love to see Marvel, like, the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'd love to see them, like, after they add a lot of heroes to their repertoire, to actually make, like, a Secret War. What's it called? What's it, Secret War? Is that the name? Mm-hmm. Jamie, do you know the name of that arc? Like, Secret War, or, like, the Civil War? Um, uh, Secret Invasion. That was the Scrolls. No, not the Scroll. The one that they covered in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Um, I don't know, because you said about the Secret War, that's... <laughs> Because what uh, led to the Civil War was the fact that there was the Skrull invasion, um, which basically had something to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D. disbanded after Tony Stark became... Oh, no. uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't disband. Tony Stark became head of S.H.I.E.L.D. and he basically ordered the Superhero Act, which uh, was that all superheroes had to reveal their... uh, like had to sign up to register and reveal their national... uh, their... Um, secret identities. Right, and then there's um, like a group of people that won't do that, right? Yeah, there was Steve Rogers and all that sort of stuff who refused yeah, so to it's, do it's it. Yeah, it's Captain America versus Tony Stark. Yeah. That's what I'd love to see adapted. I would just kill to see that adapted. Yeah. Like, once they introduce so, enough people for it. The thing is, you, I feel with that, you would literally have to have the whole build up to it as well. Especially mm. with the fact that they did with Thor. How that wasn't even like supposed to be a movie, it was just a build up. Yeah. Dude, Thor 1 was terrible. I hated that yeah, movie. The whole point of that was just to introduce hey, Thor. Hey, Denon's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's different. In that movie, know. yeah, because she wasn't naked. But... This kind of always happens. <laughs> what, Kat Dennings? <laughs> no, that I always kind of leave in the middle of it. Hold on, I'll be back. Uh, we're probably going to be done. We're about to wrap yeah, up soon. Um, But yeah. The, Shadow. I feel that if they were to do a, a an adaption of the Civil War, that is literally they'd have to cover the whole Skrull invasion first. I mean, they could definitely they could definitely do that for like the Avengers four because <laughs> three is Thanos, I guess. Um, so. No, Thanos. <laughs> no, wait, actually, no, no, no. The Skrull, the Skrull isn't Guardians of the Galaxy. Are they? They could definitely, yeah, because the 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 black guy from the trailer, he's oh my god, I let me find this. Trailer. I can definitely find this. Cause... Yeah, I can find this. Give me a second. I can I can definitely do this. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians. Batista. Hello. What do you think about Batista being in that movie? I think I hope he does good. I think he's gonna be a shitty actor. Dave Batista. And um, Iron Fist. In Iron Fist. Oh no! Sorry, I was thinking the Cree, not the Skrull. 
I was thinking the Kree. No, but they definitely introduced the Skrull, because the Kree and the Skrull are like mortal enemies. Yeah. Yeah, so they're introducing the Kree in Guardians of the Galaxy, so then they could bring that to the Skrull. They're also introducing the Nova Corps, so they could definitely introduce Nova as a character. Yeah. I don't know what any of this means. Uh, no, I was going to say... All right, so... Was, yeah. Wait, are you talking about the Green Lantern Corps? Oh my fucking no. god. Did you just fucking say that? Leah, did you just fucking say that? Although, I thought... We're talking about Marvel, we should go to the freaking Green Lantern. I was, um... No, I was I, reading an article and they were saying that I, they reckon. I, I just that, jumped into the conversation in the middle of it. I was I reading yeah, an article and they were no, saying that they reckon well, that a Nova Core, a Nova Core film series, could probably work better than what Green Lantern did. Absolutely. The, the thing is, you look at the Marvel universe and then you look at the DC universe. DC are very much their main fra- They've tried darker. to do the other films. I mean, Green Lantern. Don't get me wrong; it wasn't an absolutely terrible film, but it didn't do fantastically. And Man of Steel. CGI was DC terrible. Studios at the moment are basically riding off um, Man, yeah, of Steel. Man of Steel and the, Which the wasn't Dark that Knight good. series. But to be uh, honest, the series is... was amazing. Yeah, definitely. Like I liked The Dark Knight Rises better than The Dark Knight, to be honest. So uh, it's definitely that, that could be the biggest. No, absolutely. Like, a lot of people say The Dark Knight's better. I'm saying, like, I prefer The Dark Knight Rises. Anyway, no, but what they're trying to do is they're trying to back up. Proved. What? I, I'm saying that could actually be proved. What, The Dark, the dark Knight's better? Dark, dark. What? What are you saying? I'm say I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying it could be actually proved. Okay, oh, well, I'm oh. trying to say... Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to... Real quick point. They're trying to make, like, a film continuity like Marvel's too quickly. They're introducing um, Batman and Superman in the same universe, Lex Luthor and Wonder Woman in a single movie that's coming out next year. And they're also trying to make a Justice League movie for, like, the year after. They're trying to get too much in too quickly, and they won't be able to cover it like Marvel has over the last, what, seven I'm years now? I was about to say, um, yeah. Yeah. the first Iron Man was the first to the, the new phase, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. That's when they first introduced Nick Fury. Um, no, Nick Fury was Iron Man two. In the post credit scene for Iron Man. Oh, I never saw the post credits. Yeah, because that's like nobody knew that Marvel was doing the post credit uh, thing. Um, Iron Man film. Uh, uh, I just remembered. Go on, you ask her. What? I just remembered another kind of series that I would want to see as a movie this as like a full Marvel production DC. movie this is DC I want to see the thing? Legion of Superheroes be a full on movie I'd love to see Suicide Squad and see them tie that in with like X-Force. Like I'd rather see Suicide Squad than Justice League to be honest because Suicide Squad is like Deathstroke and Deathstroke is like a super cool superhero he punched the Flash who was running at full speed in the face I'm going to punch I'm pretty sure the only way that you can do that is like just hold out your hand and have the flash just run at Um, you. No, because the force in which he would collide with your hand would absolutely shatter your fist. True. Not only that, but like not only does he have like super speed, he has like heightened senses, so he could probably see your hand out. (laughs) True, but he can't run without eating a shit ton. But no, um, yeah, I, X Force, I think would be an absolutely brilliant one. X Force? Yeah, that's uh, Wolverine's. Um, basically, it's the the squad that the X Men send in when they don't uh, want to be directly linked. It's but it's basically uh-huh. the Death Group, the Death Squad. Of, uh, okay, so what, what is uh, uh, right now with Cable? But, um, the X Force is Wolverine. I think X twenty three. And Cable. No. Deadpool, um, and I can't remember who else. Blood. I'm looking at it right now. It says the current members are Cable, Doctor Nemesis, Eva, Phantom X, Marrow, and Psylocke. Huh. That's Ooh. currently though. I like Cable. Cable's a cool superhero. He was in Dead Game. Yes, he was. Um, you no. Know, what I actually kind of want to see, but it's not from what? Marvel or DC. A Spawn reboot. A Spawn reboot. Reboot, yeah. I just want to see think, a movie that. Well, what? Because I just don't think the time when it came out was the right time for a superhero movie. Absolutely. I completely agree. A bunch of movies, like 
a bunch of superhero movies that are older just weren't at the right time. How would the duck? <laughs> Steel. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. No, I want to see like. I want to see a movie that covers, like, Cthulhu mythos. Because, like, Lovecraft wrote a really, like, a bunch of cool shit. And not even just, like, Cthulhu itself. It could just be a new fad. I feel like it could be, like, the next zombie fad, to be honest. If they pulled it off right. The Cthulhu mythos. Would, just, like, Cthulhu itself. But, like, everything that subsides in it as well. It but would take like, a good director. It would take an absolute... Like, absolutely. It could take, like, Guillermo del Toro. He could cross it with Pacific Rim, and it would be amazing. But... <laughs> It's just like Actually, no movie. Cool. There have only been like two movies that have ever attempted that, like that are mainstream movies, like AAA titles, but they weren't good and they weren't like source. There was one called. Let me see if I can find it. Um, what were you saying? Sorry. I didn't say anything. I'm just saying it would be really cool. That there's one called uh, Dagon, which is a, a one of the books that well one of the stories that Lovecraft wrote but the movie is based on like a completely different story that's based on like a murder one Dagon's based on like a guy that washes up on an island goes insane and finds like a giant fish god it's like his retelling it's that's the thing like that's all Lovecraft is it's completely bizarre he has a story that's that's really interesting it's called um the cats of let me find it it's the cats of something I'm so far. I'm so Baltar, the cats of Baltar, It's basically, it's a short story. It's like four or five pages. That um, it's a town where um, there's uh, an old couple that just moves into no, no. There's an old couple living at the town, and like a family that just moves in, and the family has a kid who has a cat, and they find out these old people kill the cat, and the family moves away, and then um, after not hearing from these old people for a while the rest of the town people check, they find a bunch of cats in the house, and the old people dead. Like, by the cats. Damn. That's what? weird. That sounds... It's just like a super great that story. This... Catastrophic. This, also... this is like a personal thing. Kill I think. yourself with a rock. I just... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> there's another story that... It was um, cat I... It was only I like to link this, but there's never been any confirmation that I've seen for like it's like it's about the dead rising series it's like the first zombie story that lovecraft wrote it's like let me see if i can find it um uh okay it's called herbert west it's a story about zombies and yeah. i've always linked it to um dead rising because the main character is called frank west and it's about yeah. zombies but there's like no official like word from capcom about it it just pisses me off. Because it's the, the whole story. It's basically like Frankenstein, but in the end, zombies come up and kill the guy. I that sounds amazing. It's a really good story. Like, everything Lovecraft writes is amazing, and I just don't even like reading. Huh. Anyway, that's just. I was ranting. Sorry. But anyway, I, I, I want to change my mind from Shadowhawk to. Legion of Superheroes because I want to hear Garth's story, Lightning Lightning Lad's story, in full kind of like epicness, mm. Mm. along with Brainiac Five. I'd like to see a Nightwing movie. Yeah. Yes. I haven't even made a Robin movie though. Yeah. Well, he's gonna be in what? Is he supposed to be in the one? I... With... the thing is, it's something like you'd have to. You'd have to get Dick Grayson, because obviously Dick Grayson became Nightwing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think you'd, if you was going to do a Robin movie, you'd have to do something that covered like the mate, like all four of them. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you had Dick Grayson, who eventually became Nightwing. Uh, you need Barb in there. Jason Todd, is it Jason Todd? Yeah, Jason Todd. Yeah. He became the the red, not the red skull, the red mask. Yeah, he went batshit crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's Tim like... Robbins. No, no, it's what? fuck. Was it? T- it was Tim something, wasn't it? I don't know. I'll figure I, it I out. feel so pissed because like he I... became Red Robin, and then oh. you got uh, Damian Wayne, um, Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Stephanie Tim Brown, Drake, and first. Damian Wayne. Wait, who was the other one? Stephanie Brown. Stephanie Brown. Yeah, she was, was the, the first female be- Robin. Yeah, yeah, and then she became Batgirl. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. 
Makes sense. In, in this movie, would there be Batgirl or would it be Oracle already? Or would you like, yeah, add that They transition? can definitely be Batgirl because they never mentioned Commissioner Gordon uh, having a daughter. If we're talking about like the Batman continuity that was Dark Knight Rises and like um, Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Yeah. Yeah. But in that case, they also couldn't do that because they have Robin, the Jace, Joseph Gordon Lovett, terrible character, trying to make a joke. I groaned so hard because I was in the movie theater and they called him Robin and everybody was like, oh, and they were trying to pull a fucking Marvel reference. And I was like, are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, I, I, I kind of got I was through. <laughs> so they I, I, I kind of got really pissed at that. Also, a Batman Beyond movie. I, Absolutely. Yeah, that Batman be Beyond. Cool. That was my favorite Batman. Yeah. What's his face? Tracy, whatever. Uh, I forgot his last name. Something Tracy. Tracy something. Absolutely. And just have Mark Hamill as the Joker. I love the the kind of the movie that they had where it was Robin's story along with Joker's story within that series. The one where like it turned out to be um, Robin who was Harry McGinnis. Well, I was really off. Yeah, Terry McGinnis. Also, kind of the whole story of how Terry became Terry is because they grabbed DNA from Bruce and they injected it into his father. So that way, when his mom got pregnant, it was pregnant with um, Batman. with Batman's genes, with um, Batman. Wayne's genes, rather than his own father's. So technically, Bruce Wayne is Terry McGinnis' father. Batman. Mm. Oh, uh, you know what I'd like to see, here. actually? Yeah, Leia. Fucking... Um, Flashpoint <laughs> Batman. Do you know what that is? Like, Ooh. Batman Flashpoint? No. It's basically, um, in the Batman universe, Batman, like, Bruce Wayne as a child was killed instead of his parents. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I've heard oh, of that. Yeah. Yeah. And his so, dad becomes Batman and his mum becomes Joker. Yes, yeah. I would love to see that. Like, I, I'm just trying to find the comics. I'm planning on going to like my local comic book shop soon just to see if they have that because that sounds like a super interesting mind. story to me. The thing is, it's it's one of those like a, a lot of the alternate universes would be quite interesting to see. Absolutely, but they just never. Put I, it I would love to see a very well made Venom film. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's like, yeah, gonna be good. It's not even Venom good. and Carnage, and possibly if they could Toxin. touch on anti Venom. Anti Venom. About toxin. Yeah. Toxin. I think toxin would fit better than anti venom. Yeah. Basically, anti venom is it's the original venom, isn't it? Um, Eddie Brock. Looks like it. Yeah. Eddie Brock uh, basically gets where he was so long as venom. There's. I think he comes back into contact with Peter. the uh, symbiote at some point after. Um. Gar- is it Gargan? Is that Venom? The, the one that was Scorpion, right? Yeah. Um, while he yeah. was still... Yeah, Gargan. Uh, Venom. And basically, somehow, Eddie Brock basically uh, fights the symbiote and says, no, look, we need to <laughs> rectify this and becomes the anti-Venom and basically the colour scheme just gets inverted and it looks really cool. Yeah, he looks skinnier too. Um, but he actually, in one of the... Uh, comics, he like goes around and says, like, "Oh, the symbiotes. He like needs to heal people of the symbiote." And of course, because Batman or because Spider-Man, sorry, was uh, linked with it at some point. Uh, at some point, um, Anti Venom, Anti Venom tried to heal Spider-Man from it, and mm-hmm. basically took all his powers away. <laughs> you know what I'd love to see for like Amazing Spider-Man three? What if they like? Managed to pull off faking people into thinking it's about like the next one would be about the Sinister Six and like go directly to the Superior Spider Man. Yeah, Toby can you imagine Maguire. if they pulled that off? What? I want to see Tobey Maguire do a cameo in the next Amazing Spider Man. Oh, just just stop. I want to see that, that happen. Terrible. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> it's so Andrew funny. Garfield is by far a better actor. I don't know. I thought I thought Tobey Maguire did a good Peter Parker. I think. Garfield is just too good looking for Peter Parker. Yeah, but in even in like the comics and that, I mean, he's not l- referenced as like 
fuck ugly guy. Yeah, but I think it's just too good looking. Hey, remember when Tobey Maguire danced to Spider Man? That was oh, shit. Geez. That was. The, <laughs> oh my god. That was the worst part of that Spider-Man movie. Spider Man three. Emo Spider Man. Did you see that? that um, what's it called? The um, college humor skit where they're um, it was basically they're bringing Spider Man into the operation room. And they asked like the directors all these questions, and they're just. And then they took off his mask, and they saw the bangs. And they're just like, "Did you give him emo bangs?" And like, it was it was the funniest thing. I'd never seen that. I might watch that though. I haven't watched College Humor in a while. But a lot of friends have said it's like still good. Yeah, it's all right still. I I, I don't watch a lot. I realized I've been watching their old stuff, and I haven't really seen much of their new I stuff. I like their Jagging series. That was a really good series. Uh, yeah. The best, the best college humor I've seen is they done a Halo CSI. I've never seen that. It you know what? I'm sorry, but I think we should wrap up soon. Yeah. yeah like I still want to play Charles Fusion. Jamie has to. Go yeah. Play. Yeah. I'm gonna play Charles Fusion soon. Yeah. On so the that's saying, Xbox you said one. You wanted a quick hand with a Minecraft achievement, didn't you? I mean, we can do it some other time. Don't worry about it. Well, it will take me five minutes to load up the Xbox. If that. That'll take me a bit longer. This thing. We can just do it some other time. Don't worry about it. We'll do it like. What are we doing, Kantai Network? Never. Uh, Why have you added Looney to this conversation? Kantai is no more. What? I still need to talk to Looney. Can Jamie we change our... about Looney, but I've never talked to Looney. Can we yeah, change our update that's, that's, that, that, on GTA? That's, that's basically why. Um, the I haven't spoken to Looney in a little while, and basically, <laughs> are you not friends I, anymore? Not so much that we just haven't spoken, and to be perfectly honest, especially with the Minecraft thing. I'm sick of waiting. Mm-hmm. So waiting. we'll just fucking do it. Okay, but I will yeah, ask a and certain. Everything will go up on the slap page now instead. Yeah, you, will you ask that person? Yeah. Yeah, I'll ask that person, and if that person does say yes, would we be joining them to the Minecraft thing? If she's yeah, got well, she can get Winnie's house and um. Yeah, she Another could have Looney's house, which is rather epic. She would have the biggest house in the... In the Jamie, speaking of Kansas... Do I still have my hole? Reach. Like, my yes. house hole? You yeah. still have your hole. How do people know about that? I don't know. I don't Someone drew you a that. piece of art, and it was you in a hole. And it's like, how do people I, know? Wait, what I know. The fuck? Like, at, Are we yeah. popular? Do we have fans? I don't know. The, the, Ew, the hole's never like, been mentioned before. So. Yeah, because, like, when she talked to me, she's just like, okay. Hold Maybe on, Maybe she just geez. wanted to... Um, Maybe she just really but, wanted to draw Leah in a hole. No, because like when she <laughs> messaged me, she's just like, "Do you want me to draw you as your Homestuck character or your Minecraft character?" And I said like, "Oh yeah, um, draw me as my Minecraft character." I use the hippie flower girl from like I forgot what pack it is, and she's just like, "Okay, I got it." And then like she sent that to me like the next day or the day after that. And I'm just like, "That's this is awesome." And then I realized after Jamie said like, "How do people know about your hole?" I'm just like. Oh my god, I totally forgot that every time I have a house, it's always in a hole. <laughs> yeah, Jamie, GTA, can we change our crew name? Yeah, oh, we'll get on it. Sweet. So, just a question. Well, actually, what? no, don't worry about it. Actually. Never mind. No, that's fine. I'm not gonna ask. End of period right. two. You're gonna ask about the freaking Yoshi. Blue jackets and penguins at 3 No. We should probably wrap up because I need to go. Now, no. or at least I could just leave, and then you guys could continue on. Yeah, well, over pretty yeah, much. Nah, I think we're all gonna finish anyway. up here. So, okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you for thank you for listening. We're hoping to uh, get this. I don't know if we're gonna be back to doing this weekly yet, but we will certainly be doing it more than once every five months. Um, Reunion podcast over. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> catch you later, guys. Our uh, links to See Twitter ya. and that will be down below. So. Yeah, go follow. Bye bye. Charles Fusion, see you. Can I stop? Can't wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs>